Hey guys, what's up? It's Carlos the Cobra, and I just want to ask you a quick question. How many people do you know need to take their key, unlock the passenger side door, open it, then use the internal unlock switch to unlock the driver side door, simply to go around, unlock the door, and open it without having the car alarm go off? Let's see if it'll work. Oh, it got triggered. And the theft light still blinks. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to disable that system so that way you won't have this problem anymore and you can simply just unlock the driver's side door and be done with it. And here's a wiring schematic that I downloaded offline. Let me get out of the wind here. All right, that's better. The anti-theft module system has two wiring harness that plug into the bottom of it, a left and a right side. On the right side will be harness number C403, and we need to depin or remove number 14, which is a dark blue with an orange stripe wire. By depinning this wire, the factory alarm system never knows whether the car's doors are opened or closed, and since it never gets that information, it never knows when to activate or arm itself. And by never arming itself, it never goes off or have the potential to go off, in which case it'll never catch you in an inconvenient time. So that's one thing we're going to work on is depending that one wire. Now, for those of you that want to take it a step further, on the left side, there's a harness number C404. And if you want to make your car foolproof, you need a D-pin number 5, which is the trunk dampening detection, basically the sensor for the trunk. By, I've never had any problems opening or unlocking the trunk and having the car alarm system go off just with the doors. Now you could probably fix that by replacing the door jam sensor, but I have no interest in repairing or fixing a 25 year old factory car alarm system. I'd just rather do away with it altogether. It's a great car, it runs good, it's just Sometimes out of the blue, the alarm just goes off because you opened the door incorrectly. So I'm going to deep in that wire. Now I went on eBay and I purchased this 82 key deep pin set for like 20 bucks. So here in the trunk is the anti-theft module. And see, here's the left harness and the right harness. So here's what I did. As you can see, I've already deep pinned the dark blue with the orange stripe which is the door input now I really wish I could kept recording to show you the process of how I did that but it's very simple now as you can see from this other harness that I haven't touched yet there's an orange connector in the middle and it's actually a locking tab so what you need to do is you need to put one of the keys in the center slot push down on the tab and pull it out once you pull it out, it gives you access to all the pins. And there's a secondary pin lock in there. So with a different key, I lifted that pin up and pulled the wire out through the back. So in case I ever need to go back and put it all together, you're, you're able to do that. You know, no need to cut the wire and then try to figure out how to solder it back in in case you cut the wrong wire. So that's why I want to depin it. In case I do this incorrectly, I can put it back together with no problems. Uh, so just to make it again idiot proof, uh, I'm going to depin the wire on this harness for the trunk. Uh, like I said, the trunk's never given me any issues, but just to bypass the car alarm system altogether is going to make it worthwhile in my opinion. Now the Ford has two car alarm or anti-theft systems. The first one is the actual car alarm that sounds the horn, flashes the lights when it thinks someone's trying to break into the car. The secondary system is the actual coded key that enables the car to start when you put it in the ignition. This is the first system. The secondary system, you actually have to have the PCM removed and retuned to have that secondary key chip system deactivated. That will probably be done in a later video, but this is the primary problem that I'm having. I've never had a problem with the car starting with the keys. It just it wouldn't start when the alarms actually activated and there's no kill switch for it so this is my manual kill switch and this should solve all my problems
now for the moment of truth the doors are unlocked I should be able to simply open the door and go in and if all went well the anti-theft light should never come back on meaning the alarm is never active and it should never go off on me on a moment's notice when the sensor decides to foobar itself all right so let's check it out good no beeping and what do you know no more anti-theft light so the system has totally been disarmed i can leave the door open for extended periods of time if i'm ever working on the car i can lock it unlock it and enter through a driver's side all the time and no more problems okay not really sure what that ding was about but hopefully it shouldn't be related to my anti-theft problem but the the theft light is no longer going on it's probably the interior light but uh, I'll definitely give updates if there's anything to report on. But right now, it looks like a win-win. The anti-theft light's not coming on, so the system doesn't seem to be engaged. And uh, I think that'll do it. So thank you so much for watching this uh, multi-series part of how to deactivate your factory car alarm on a 1997 Ford Mustang Cobra. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you later.